Hi, so what I want to talk to you uh, about now is something called single nucleotide polymorphisms, but you don't need to remember that name, SNPs for short. Uh, and these are tiny changes in one area of DNA, what we call one base pair. Uh, and you can have none of a uh, single nucleotide polymorphism, one or two, uh, at each site on the DNA. Now, why are these important? Well, individually, they make a very little difference to your breast cancer risk. But so far, we've identified more than 300 of them that when you combine them, they can make quite a big difference. So, for example, if we think of this as being like a, a deck of cards, a large deck of cards, where if you're dealt, say, the bad cards might be the red ones, uh, and you have a whole handful of those red cards, uh, that would increase your risk. Uh, whereas if you had all of the black cards, it wouldn't. It's very rare for somebody to have all of the red or all of the black. And what's usual is that you have a mixture of those. Some of the cards or the single nucleotide polymorphisms slightly increasing your, your breast cancer risk and some slightly reducing it. And what we can do is a blood test, take out the white blood cells, look at the DNA, and we can then determine whether or not you've got more of the risk or the red cards or more of the better black cards in the DNA, uh, work out what we call your polygenic risk score or PRS uh, and then that can be really useful because it adds additional evidence, uh, sorry, adds additional information to your overall breast cancer risk uh, prediction. So we would then combine the PRS with things like the density of the mammogram, uh, with your family history and with other risk factors. And that gives us the greatest degree of information and accuracy uh, and enables us to give you a better idea of your breast cancer risk.